you are pure of blindness, you are sat and chased, you are everywhere. This is your true nature, stick to that. Now, Janaka is such a highly qualified person that he can surrender very early in poor in mind. Like giving up Mahabharata is nothing. And so, you could easily see, you could hear today, that he was the self. What is the self? He was the self and chased. And he was everywhere. Immediately put in life. And then he said, yes, take your thing down, your body and mind, well, ta ta, and then hmm? So that is the good. He doesn't want anything, but he, he demands that he should be given surrender because the disciples are attached to those things. And that is the obstacle. Mind, mind, mind. Hamkara and Hamakara are the characteristics of the ego. And Hamkara, so both must be given. Somebody said, came to Ramana Mahaj and said, Bhagavan, so I so, has renounced. And I am also going to renounce. But you must renounce the renouncer. That is important, he said. Renounce the renouncer. The I am must be given up. And that is the most important thing. You may give up the body. You may say, I am not the body. You may meditate on the skeleton and get rid of the idea that you are the body. And you may try the same thing if you think about the mind and its qualification, called politics. But ego, I am, you are independent, subtitle. That is what you are saying. But you are not the I am, real I am. The pseudo imposter you are. Well, there are stories, examples, experiments for knowing how this I am is pseudo and the real I am is different. Now there are 10 minutes more, and then if there are any questions, please raise. Only regarding these aspects, how to do, how to realize this. I am. Well, that is the problem today. Every problem has got a solution. This is our problem. I am. To know what this I am is. And this is the solution. You make an experiment. And there are several experiments. And the experiments are to dissociate I am from the body mind complex. And to look at it. Exclusively the pure air, it is such and chit, and ananda also. If it remains as pure hand or such and chit. Yes, sir. Are there any questions? Please raise questions. If you don't raise questions, that may and the other understood everything or nothing. <laughs> How can you make that meditate on the pranava nada and some other time? Now I also to meditate in that wrong. See, there are different people. You know? For the first test. Well, no. <laughs> no. Always. No. Any questions? No. No question at all. Yes, please. Swamiji, we have been trying so much. Like, we've been listening that we are pure uh, Atma and all that. But we uh, think we go to mental level, but we have never gone beyond that. I know, okay, I'm pure consciousness, but again, uh, when we sit and we think like that, it remains to mental level only. We don't go beyond that. Quite right. So, why? Why are you unable to go beyond that? I don't know. Now what experiment did you do? Krishna Bhagavan is saying, Tiro Grivam Samangayam, Dharayam Nagyam Chiram. Did you do that? No. You have never tried to sit erect. You sit as you like. And then say, you are what Krishna Paramatma, you are what you are not. And then he said, Sam Pretsa Nadikagram. This is to get your nose stick anytime, for any time period. No. Even if I try that. No, no, how long? How long? What's your age? 44. 44 is the age. How long did you travel? One hour? Two hours? Yeah. One week? One month? 44 years you did the wrong thing. And the negative thing. Opposite to what you are trying to do. And yet you pray that you have not got the result. How can that be? You have not tried at all. Try at least one fourth time. That is one tenth of that 44 years you have lived. And one tenth of it is what? Yeah, but we have been, uh, in, uh, initially we have been told to you know, concentrate on the heart. All right. Did you concentrate on the heart? Yeah, I do. Do you know what heart is? What is heart? Is this physical heart he is referring to? He is not referring to the physical heart. He must know his statement. Understand. And you think you understand it. And then you go on doing some nonsense. And then you say, no, the results are not coming. First you will go and ask him. And is it the physical heart? Or is it the other thing? And what is the meaning of the heart? Heart ah, remains center. There is another right side, there is a center, it seems. Where the heart, the Atma resides according to the yogis. 
did not say anything. He just looked at it. And the rice was taken inside and then. And then I told her, I want to stay here for two days in your house. And uh, uh, he said, okay, you can stay, that mother said. He was not saying anything. He was simply looking. And then I said, I take only milk and uh, milk. And I would like to give some fruits here. And I gave her money. And she brought it. And before drinking, I gave her a glass of milk they wanted to give to that, uh, that Swami. And she said, no, no, my body is better than take milk. Is okay. And then I gave him. But he was saying anything, he drank it. And then the bananas that were that also were given to him. And he said, he doesn't eat bananas. But when I gave him, he took it and built it to eat. And then I was sitting there, just watching. One fellow came. And he said, you see, I want to purchase a lorry. Shall I do it? Either do it or don't do it. Go. <laughs> And he was like, what is this? He's saying like this today, now I'll come again. And then he went away. And I was like, okay. He was giving sweets and all that. He was eating one by one and then he stopped. And later on I asked him, where are you coming here? Where are you from? He said, I'm coming, I got a factory. And I sometimes back I had a problem. I came and told him and he said something. And that really was my problem. So I am coming regularly, now and then. And I have sweets and uh, so on. And I was like, okay. He, he came with a tuna carrot, where he cleaned and other things were there, and the bus washed him with a towel, red cloth towel, and as if he was giving a bath to him. And then, after cleaning him, he gave harapin, and he gave this uh, wiggly and all that. He silently took it. And I was going to ask him, well, how did you come here? I'm sorry. So I closed him. And, uh, he said, uh, the, I am a science teacher. I was here previously. I used to come to him. I have worked in the tree. Now I am transferred, so I come once in a week. So this is the Sunday I come. And uh, this is what I, how I started him and so on. I got great faith. I can't explain it. <laughs> so that was how it is. And one mango selling very clear. He gave no proof. He thinks that by giving him, she will be able to sell. And another very clear. I lost my, my goat. Very good, she is asking. He said, he will go there. <laughs> but just to say, you know, this is a thing I'm not talking. But he thought that he will give me a direction. Maybe she will find her goal. But that is not. So all these things do not say whether he is a realized person, and I was hooked or not. Uh, two days I was observing like this, and then night I inspect along with him. He used to go to sleep, and uh, he doesn't feel anything. Though he was naked and an ugly person, he doesn't feel shy and natural, like a child he was moving about. And then, we were going, I was now want to go test him as it was. Uh, Swamiji, I want to go to that uh, hotel, there is Narasimha Swami temple there in another place. I want to visit that place also. Now, shall I go there? He said, yes, it's a good go there. He did not just go and don't go. <laughs> that is what he said. He was giving a positive reply. And then I asked, how to get self-realization? Asma Jnana Pondana Yadara, Tiru. And he just looked at me for some time and said, Tirivika Ogdara Yadara, it is only being awareness. He said, Nobody understands that. He is saying, realizing the self means being awareness. Now that's what we mean by that. Such an ananda pradhamman you are. To realize that you are self and say, is what is called atmanya. He is what is called knowing and excellent concept. Then I did pranam and came away, but that gave me the idea that he is a selfless person. But he is in it way. He was working as a worker, suddenly transformation came in scenes. And our mother believes that one great saint was there in the area. He passed away and he has come onto that particular boy. They are all devoted to that saint in scenes. How to know? Only when such questions arise or some miracle happens, then you realize that they are not ordinary people. Ramana Maharshi, for a long time, 30 years ago, was begging and begging about him for a long time. Only when Kavya Vintanavati Muni Ajayas call came to him, he realized that he is a great saint, he is a Rishi. He named him as Bhagavad Ramana Maharshi. And only when Paul Brunton came 
very British journalist, and he described his greatness and how he also got the Samanic experience and so on. And he described what all happened there. And so also Yogi Ramaya, he also, in his confrontation with him, he described in the book, the section secret in there. That the people who came to know about the greatness of uh, Maharshi and uh, Yogi. And later on, Param Sevananda came, and he also discovered about his experience. And this statement revealed that ordinary people are not able to know that they, they, they are doing great things. Very great gurus. Swami Vivekananda was there in Madras, 1902 or so, the second visit of second visit. And he was there, but no recognized. Nobody recognized in the same place. So it's not easy to recognize the last of Jani. And the same time, he is there as your neighbor. There is a gentleman there, he is working in the lecture in Nile of one. One Dr. Shilam, he is a PhD, he has a PhD in all that. And he looks like an ordinary lecturer. But he is considered as a guru, he is a great miracle that seems to have won hundreds.